Hey, it's Andy Mandel with the Mandel team at Remax, and I'm here to bring you your 2018 market recap. We're gonna give you the stats of what happened in 2018, and also our predictions going forward for 2019. All right, so for the purposes of this video, we're gonna focus exclusively on single family homes here in Coral Springs. It's a very similar market in, you know, similar things are happening in Parkland, Coconut Creek, Margate, Boca, all the surrounding cities. It's pretty much the same kind of, uh, the same thing going on in all these cities. So if you have questions about those cities in particular, let me know, I'm happy to get you the information and the stats uh, particular to your house. So for 2018 in Coral Springs for single family houses, the amount of homes coming onto the market, new inventory, is up 8% from 2017. Over the last few years, we've been seeing a steady decline in the number of new homes coming on the market. So that's new. In 2018, slightly more homes hit the market, which is good news for buyers. Uh, in, in 2018, there was actually a decline by about 4% in the number of closed deals. So more homes coming onto the market, fewer homes selling. So pricing. In Coral Springs, the median price of a home in the fourth quarter of 2018 was 405000 We saw an increase in about 5.69% year over year of the median price of homes in Coral Springs. So we still saw a very good amount of price appreciation. So things are getting still more expensive. Uh, the days on market is down about five days, nothing crazy. Uh, so it's, it's pretty similar. It's t taking 35 days on average to sell a home in the city of Coral Springs. Now, the number of months of inventory currently in the first quarter here, the beginning of January, it currently sits at 3.12 months. So if no more homes were to come onto the market, it would take a little over three months for all the homes that are currently here to sell. They say in a balanced market, six months uh, is a balanced market. Anything less is a seller's market, anything more is a buyer's market. So at the very, very beginning of the year here, we're, we're definitely still in a seller's market. This is where we've been for the last couple of years, um, but let's give our predictions going forward for 2019. As we head into the spring se selling season and summer, we're gonna see a lot more homes continue to hit the market. So right now, it's very, very much a seller's market. As we go towards the spring, when more people decide to put their home on the market and everyone's getting ready to move, I do see that trend of uh, more homes hitting the market continuing into 2019. If we isolate just the fourth quarter of 2018, the actual increase in the amount of inventory was 13%. So in the fourth quarter, a lot more homes started to hit the market. So we are starting to see a shift going into 2019 as far as, you know, is it a buyer's market, a seller's market? There's more homes hitting the market, which gives buyers a better opportunity. You know, there's more options to choose from. So for sellers, it definitely doesn't mean the bottom's falling out. You know, the sky's not falling. It's definitely still a good time to sell. It just means we have to be much more strategic with our pricing. We're not, we can't just price it, you know, 10, 15 grand above the highest sale in your neighborhood and expect to get those kind of sales anymore. The homes that are gonna sell are gonna be the ones that are priced correctly. That's what we're gonna see going forward. So it's still a very, very good time to be a seller. Uh, all you have to do is just price your home correctly to make sure it sells quickly instead of lingering on the market. And if you're a buyer in 2019, interest rates actually came down over the last couple of months a, a decent amount. So it's still a very, very good time to buy. And as we're seeing more inventory hit the market, there's gonna be a lot more options to choose from. So anyone who might've gotten discouraged over the last couple of years, not being able to find much uh, for sale that they liked, it might be a good time to start exploring again and seeing what might be out there that, that matches you know, what they're looking for. So those are our predictions going forward for 2019. If you have any questions about what this means for you or your property, whether you're buying or selling, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd be more than happy to discuss the market with you, where we think things are going, and you know, how that impacts you specifically for the type of property that you are looking for. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, I look forward to answering them. Have a great day.